Sox. It's so great having alumni and coaches, you know, coming out and watching or even watching on webcasts. We really appreciate you kind of sticking with your sport. Well, we got a doozy. It is played by Minette, Woodrow, and there's Low Crest all of a sudden finding herself getting big time now late in this match. She wasn't the backer early. Minette, Woodrow, Preska, she's been a dominant backer throughout, and she keeps it going. Another block. Four or kill for Prescott. So I've got some stats here for you. This time I'm going to give you the digging stats. So we've got 81 digs for Acadia and 76 for the Varsity Reds. And leading the digs, believe this or not, Hillary Manette, 31 digs for Acadia right now, which is so impressive. And it's a little more spread out on the Varsity Reds. We've got Doucette with 13, Edel with 14, and Nelms with 16. So I have to give a shout out to Manette. That is awesome. I've never seen digs in the 30s. A good start here. 2 nothing for Acadia. Sarah Ross the serve. Nice dig on her own by Paige Nelms there. Edel. Low pressed. Olsen and Edel again. Is it off the block? Varsity Reds say yes. The official says no. Alright, well this is a sprint. 3 nothing. You know what? And this game only goes to 15, so you and the Varsity Reds are going to have to answer fast right now. They have no choice because, you know, it's half a game here. So they're going to have to find a way to score right now. Needle. They're going to let that go, and oh my, Acadia up 4 nothing. Coach Goulet will talk things over. You know, Edel's definitely a very strong player. We've seen nothing but great things from her. And I You're watching the AUS. Women's Volleyball Quarterfinal, February 13, 2015. We're in the fifth and final set here. Home team and third seed and favorite, uh, New Brunswick. Nine and seven. Against the number six seed, the three and 13, Acadia, Axe Women. Well, four nothing here, but as if you're just joining us, one of the main, we didn't do a top ten list of storylines tonight, and including performances and game trends. But one of the storylines, again, has been the way these teams have responded out of a timeout. Four nothing. Will the Reds respond like you've seen through all, all uh, night after a Coach Goulet timeout? Sarah Ross on the service line. And again, here's this young Acadia team. We're going to close out a quarterfinal match. That's going to fail on Sarah. So again, a, a focus point for Coach Goulet. And if you saw that, Jackie Sabatowski, who kind of got hit by that last yeah. serve, just literally ran to the other side of the court and looked at the coach and said, See, look, I got out of the way this time. And they shared a moment, so that was pretty cute. And now they got work to do. Lauren Joyce on the service line. Played by Minette. Preska, she has been special. 15 kills for Carlotta. Yeah, you know, just looking at the Acadia stats, they've been, you know, dominating the Varsity Reds on kills, on digs. Um, the Varsity Reds have had more service aces. Varsity Reds lucky to still be in the point. Marissa Chin. Blocked as Edel by Preska. She keeps it going. Six to one. Yeah, Edel's really got to find a way here. She can do it. She's a great hitter. We've seen so much from her all match, and, you know, this is the time where she's really going to have to step up here. Pivotal moment for the Varsity Reds. Paul Pitt, clever, the fifth-year senior. Smart play by Paulson, you know, finding a way to score when her hitters are just struggling a little bit there. Well, here it is, Paige Paulson on the service line. They need her to go on a roll. Good serve. Manette, good throw. Great ball for the Reds. Started by Nelm. Paulson, good choice. Blocked out of bounds. Keep it. You can see almost the concern with the varsity Reds. You know, they're really fighting.
tell that they really want it and have kind of been leading the whole game. Prescott. Alton. Sabatonski. Just the net again. Block. Out of bounds. Eight to three. They'll change sides. We'll take a breath. Man, man. The varsity Reds have another charge left in them. What a year the varsity Reds have had. If this, if this is the last we see of them. You know, both teams have had a great year, and it's just when you really look at all of the teams, especially this year where there hasn't been a super dominating team, it's so excited kind of just going back and looking at how they were from the, you know, the first game they played or the first tournament they had in their exhibition season to how far they've come. You know, and that's just a credit to all of the different coaches. But you know what a coach said to me early on, I was talking to a coach way back in September, October, I said, man, the conference is really young this year, isn't it? And he said, you wait till the championships. He said, wait, wait till you see these kids come along. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. It's so true for all the different teams that are here, you know? And now another factor, we start playing in factors, eight to four, and as we've been talk, talking about a little bit, Acadia will be serving with the UNB Varsity Reds men's volleyball team right behind them. Yep, that's true. You know, that's definitely something that you have to be mentally tough and something you have to work on when you're playing. Because it's definitely four. a factor. Eight to four. Two sets. Eight to five. Too hot for the net that time. So it was six to one. So you're looking at a four to two uh, run right now for the Reds here. Oh, it's a critical service error for Eagle. Yeah, you know, that's kind of the point where you want to start building back, and that just kind of made the deficit a little bit larger there. Nine to five. Boudreaux 
Dombrowski at top hit. Makes it work. Full throw. Fresca blocked this time. Joyce was there. And two set. the service line. The serve for Doucette. Fresca. Blocked again, and now they're starting to have an answer for Carlotta. Two blocks in a row. You know, and, and as much as her setter may really like her as an option, I think Coach Wood here is going to tell Ujo to maybe find someone else that can put the ball away, maybe force her middle. We haven't seen McGinty much here in the fifth set, but I think it's time to make a change. You know, when you have 25 points,
We got a win by two.
deserved a win there, but, you know, also gave UNB a really good fight. And, you know, UNB definitely deserved that win, finding a time to score right at the end there. So both teams, both teams definitely deserved that win, and it was just great to see, you know, some really good volleyball action. No fifth-year seniors on Acadia, so they all could be coming back next season. Meanwhile, we'll move on to the Varsity Reds. What are some of your initial thoughts about that Varsity Reds-Tigers matchup? Well, you know what? If the Varsity Reds come out firing the way they did today, I think they're going to have a good chance of taking the Tigers. But I also think the Tigers just have some really, really strong players that are just itching to get out there. And, you know, obviously they kind of have the pressure of defending the AUS Championship title right now. So, you know, I think I think it could be a really good match. I think if you and beat the, Var the Varsity Reds really come out firing the way that they did today, I think they'll be contenders. But I know that they're going to have to be aware that the Tigers are going to come out hard, just like the Acadia Axemen did at them. Both teams with outstanding outside hitters could come down to the specialty positions, libero and center. Yeah, absolutely, you know, and I think both teams actually have a really good, you know, they both have good setters and both have good liberos, and, you know, I think it's just going to come down to who makes less mistakes. That's that's going to be the winner of that game, because I think there's a lot of, you know, even matchups in positions, so it's just going to be who kind of finds a way to respond to each other and who has the momentum and who kind of doesn't back down. All right, five hours of volleyball right there. That was fun. <laughs> I wish there was another game. I love it. <laughs> well, more to come tomorrow night. Raisa Lilani, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Outstanding stuff from Raisa Lilani. You can see Raisa tomorrow on semifinal Saturday. And of course, Michael Bourgeois with your sideline interview is a great job tonight as well. Well, friends, we're getting ready for semifinal Saturday now. We're on the air tomorrow at 2 o'clock for game two of the men's, or the men's championship, the varsity.